All right, uh, hello all. Uh, this is an Arch Linux video, and I'm proud to present a, another uh, Brett Stevens concept for an i3 window manager called Arch i3 Nemesis. So I have it loaded up here in VirtualBox, and I'm using VirtualBox specifically to address uh, some VirtualBox issues you may be experiencing with the latest Arch kernel. Hopefully it'll be updated. Um, the problems will be fixed with the uh, next VirtualBox update. So here I am. Um, when you'll be presented with this uh, image, and you just press Q to close this. Mod Shift Return is to open a file manager. It's the only way I can get this to uh, to present it that I can think of right now. So Mod is uh, the Alt key right now, you, which you can change. Shift is Shift and Enter. So Alt Shift Enter to open the uh, file manager so Q to close this alt shift enter and we have install arch i3 nemesis which is uh, I have adopted uh, Carl Duff's pack dang installer and the documentation is here um, so I've done several videos on installing arch Linux so I don't want to go through this whole process uh, make you sit through it and I'm sure you can find videos on the pack bang installer but it's fairly, uh, I think, intuitive. As you can see here, I'm just setting keyboard layouts to my uh, language. And partition disk. Finally got G part of the work. And this device has nothing on it, so you just go device, create a partition table. Um, this does support UEFI, but I only, this is going to be MS-DOS, so click apply. Add and uh, I'm just going to leave the space as is. Apply and let it do its thing. Close and uh, Control Q to close this. Mount the partition. If you use Gparted and kept everything simple, you can just uh, hit Skip None and just to, it'll go on to install the base packages. After uh, in installation and set up your username and your passwords and so on, um, when you get to this review configuration screen. Uh, this is, has to do with VirtualBox, okay? VirtualBox only, and version uh, 5.016, I think, um, is in the grub line where it has quiet. I'll zoom right in here. You have to put in uh, IO MEM MEM equals relaxed. So just make sure you have this in here. Now it's not going to stick and um, until after we uh, re 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 reboot. So I'll save, Control S, Control Q to quit, and just go back, done, close installer, and uh, and to restart the system, um, hold down the mod key. In this case, right now it's set as Alt and Pause, and you have a cancel logout restart. So I'm just going to uh, restart. So again, if you're using VirtualBox and you get to the boot screen, just arrow key down one, boot existing OS. After you press that, hit E on your keyboard, keyboard the letter E, and on your uh, just the arrow key down to get to this line Linux. Again, I'll zoom in so you can see. So you can see I'm moving the cursor. So just uh, press E N D end on your keyboard, and after quiet. I hit the space with the space bar and that same command IO IO M E M equals R E L A X E D. I'll zoom back out and press Control and X. Uh, the reason for that, as I said, there's a some uh, there's a conflict with the, the latest kernel in Arch Linux and VirtualBox. Uh, it says kernel setting. So you log in. I changed the username purposely for some demonstration uh, purposes. So we'll close this and mod shift return. You can unmount the disk and uh, alt or I'm sorry mod enter itself will bring up the default terminal and you can change that. So first thing you want to do is run I built in a a script to update grub, so sudo up dash grub, and that will take care of the uh, IO mem thing. 
Okay, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. And after that, um, another script I made is called Mirrors. If you run that, it, it'll go out and get the latest six mirrors or so from the U.S. However, if you're not from the U.S., uh, you have to uh, sudo leafpad usr bin mirrors. And right here where it has the quotes, if it's another country, you just change that. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. But if you're somewhere else, then obviously change it in between the single quotes. And after that, run mirrors. And uh, as I said, I'll go out and get the latest uh, mirrors. And another uh, shortcut, psync or pacman sync or pacman dash capital S Y Y pseudo pacman dash capital S Y Y um, will uh, sync mirror list. You should be okay uh, from in. There's another there's another service that's running that helps this, so you don't have to adjust the pacman keys. Uh, however, it does add a couple of seconds to the boot time. If you want, there's documentation on Pac-Man not working, and you basically sudo system uh, ctl disable Pac-Man dash init service. Then you run through this, and you have to boot at, at least twice for this to work. Okay, so as, as again, I'm just going to leave things as they are. And after that, pack u or sudo pacman dash capital S Y U to update. And there's already updates from yesterday since I uploaded this. So I'm just going to install the updates. And uh, we'll look at the i3 config. So on, you don't need sudo leafpad dot config c o n f i g i3 config. And we'll want to you want probably want to get rid of that uh, startup message. It's right here. There's the full command here. You can either delete it or just comment it out. Now when you do that, save it, control S, and then mod, shift, and C on your keyboard to make sure that uh, there, is, there aren't any errors in the i3 config. If there are, it'll come up in the top bar and show you. So again, uh, mod and pause and restart to make sure your uh, mem the mem setting is working in virtual box all right so we have a login screen that's fine so back to our terminal we're gonna have to get uh, again specifically virtual box users only is uh pseudo pacman dash capital s or pack linux dash headers And it won't take long to download, but it takes a while to build the uh, modules for VirtualBox DKMS, which is included in this uh, package. Once it finishes uh, building the modules for VBox guests, you just run uh, sudo, sorry about that, uh, sudo system ctl enable vbox service.service. .service. Okay, and uh, from the terminal, you can just issue another reboot. And that message of uh, modules not loading should be gone. It just be going into the straight arch with the usual virtual box warning things. Yeah, there we go. So, much better. So, the virtual box modules are loaded. Now, if you need uh, a shared clipboard, uh, you go to settings, make sure it has bi directional, and for some reason, in I3, if you have to type in V, capital V, capital B, and box, client, client with a capital C, and then two dashes, clip, board. Now you should be able to copy and paste, if you have to, from your main system to uh, the virtual box. And I imagine you could add that to the i3 startup in its configuration file if you need that all the time. Okay. So the original intention was to have the Alex, uh, not Alex, uh, the Terminus font for everything, but it'll crash with some programs such as GIMP or even uh, Gparted, I believe, especially when you try to install. Uh, however, just to um, for Brett, this is uh, just to open up 
program, you press the mod key Alt and D and it brings up the D menu. And we'll go to LX Appearance. And I did download the Boomerang Dark, I believe, and I applied it. So I have GIMP installed. So again, from the uh, launcher GIMP. And uh, it works fine. And uh, window mode, single window. And for some reason, the class, so it's, you can see it's working. Uh, you can go into your config. Uh, dot config i3 config. And for floating windows, I guess I forgot to put in uh, GIMP, so I'll just take that out. For Genie, it's been uninstalled, so I'll put uh, GIMP. And you can uh, mess around with this. Sometimes it's not a capital, like FE or FE uh, is not a cap letter, and some are not a cap letter. Sometimes it's class, sometimes it's title. So I'll leave this as class equals GIMP. Control S to save. And as always, mod shift C to make sure it works. And you have to experiment Alt D GIMP. And if you're more familiar with uh, tiling window managers, you probably have a better suggestion. And there we go. Now it's working. Okay. You can resize. And that's the uh, mod key, right click to resize, and uh, left click to move with the mod key. So it's not the, the scene so much, but the uh, terminus font, which is uh, presents problems across uh, Linux, basically. And I'll try to make this as uh, simple. Uh, this last part is MPT, Music Player Daemon. I've made the configuration files and uh, the only thing you have to change is a the MPD configuration file as root. So again, open a terminal, alt enter, mod enter, sudo leafpad slash etsy mpd dot com. Okay. And where it has the music directory, um, what did I call myself? Um, <laughs> who... M I uh, locomoto. <laughs> All right, and the change it's the mod key and arrows to change between things. So I'll just change that to the whatever username you have. So L O C O M O T O. Save and close. Now run MPD. It's going to complain a bit. Uh, there's no such database. That's fine. So I, I made an alias for that NC blah 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 file and I just made it music and you see it's connected so press U to update and press 2 and I to avoid any kind of copyright I just use this <laughs> open source free sound um, examples to play so front center front left sorry about that they are playing but uh, there's noise and so on. Uh, so if you go to um, press eight on the keyboard, and yeah, the problem is is I can't really demonstrate this too well um, because nothing's playing. There we go. If you saw that, it's working. Okay, and that's all you have to do, I believe. And the volume, there are the right and left keys on your uh, your keyboard. All right. So and Q to quit, and last thing Ranger. I hope I got everything at, that they should be. If you go to documentation, it should open in uh, Leafpad and so on. And downloads. Think yeah, it'll ask you what to open with and and Grandpa. Oh, I'm sorry. And Grandpa. I'm sure. I'm not, yeah, it does work. Okay, there we go. Okay, and same deal, Q to get out of there. All right, so that should do it for this one. Uh, I3, Arch I3 Nemesis by Brett Stevens. And uh, that should do it for this one. And please uh, give me some feedback if you try this out in VirtualBox or on your system. I know if you have multiple displays on the desktop, uh, things don't look so good when you first um, 
fire up the live CD, but it does work after you uh, install. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.